I think it's a great day because I think as we tried to communicate, there's a lot of history here. We started here with just an idea and we built up a pretty big company, but we think there's a great future ahead of us and today marks that first step towards that future to build more labs, more uh, facilities where young, talented geniuses can come up with treatments that make a difference for people. How much is the physical plant in importance versus the talent that you're able to attract? Well, we used to say, and I still believe it's true, that most of Regeneron's assets go home at night. And I believe that the vast majority of our assets are our people. But people still need, in our business, to have the physical plant, the equipment, the laboratories, the special technologies, all of that, you know, the people need to be able to do their work. It all starts with people, but we need this physical plant, if you will, to be able to get the work done. Most people suddenly know Regeneron because of the monoclonal antibodies and COVID-19. Uh, give, give us an idea of what else the company does, because you're not limited to just that. No, that, that, I'm glad you made that point. Uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, was a problem which we s thought our technology could address, and we did. But we've been in this business a long time, and we have a, an important drug, the leading drug that treats uh, blinding diseases of the retina. We have a drug that treats a variety of allergic diseases, such as really bad eczema, asthma, nasal polyps, uh, eosinophilic esophagitis. We have a drug for certain types of skin cancer, certain types of lung cancer. We have a drug that um, I think uh, in the pipeline that can really make a difference uh, to a lot of new types of cancers. Uh, and of course we had a drug that was able to cure Ebola and a drug that was able to deal with at least the initial strains uh, of uh, the COVID-19. Where do you see Regeneron going? Now, obviously, you'll have a, a bigger physical plant, you'll have right. more employees, but where in terms of medicine do you see the company going? You know, my father used to tell me, and it's sort of become the unofficial company motto, uh, that we want to do well by doing good. Uh, we see us going out and doing our jobs, trying to make people's lives healthier, trying to help them live longer, uh, and by doing that, um, that's uh, uh, our mission. And there's unfortunately still too many diseases, too many people suffering, um, and we need to work even harder uh, to deal with those. If you could climb on top of one of these buildings and shout a message to Westchester County residents about your company, what would that message be? I would like uh, the people of Westchester County and the rest of the world to know that we're in this together. We're not the evil company that, uh, that some people might want to think because we happen to be a drug company. We are trying to help the same brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, children, grandchildren as they want to see helped. Uh, so we, I would say know that Regeneron is trying to do what they want done. In terms of international competition, you work with some other companies around the world, but what does that do for positioning the United States as a leader in the pharma industry? Yeah, I mean, I think partnering with companies around the world to distribute, market our products, um, that's sort of part of the business. But I don't think there's any equal in the rest of the world, any country uh, that can compete in the biomedical uh, world that we operate in, in the United States. The infrastructure, the investment at the NIH level, university level, training young scientists and physicians, men and women um, who want to make a difference in the world, and the whole um, capital market structure that helps finance these um, uh, enterprises, and just the our system. You know, nobody uh, worries when they wake up at night to read the news whether or not somebody in Russia invented some new drug, because their system doesn't do that. Our system works. Our system provides incentives and rewards to get things done. Uh, and I think that we're getting things done here at Regeneron and the whole industry is making a difference. And I hope the world can appreciate, first of all, how hard it is. It maybe looks easy, but it's really, really hard and it takes super talented people and this whole ecosystem that I referred to in the United States that's unequaled anywhere else in the world. And on a personal basis, what are your feelings today? 
I'm, my heart is swelled with pride um, that uh, an idea that we had uh, so many years ago that after 35 years, people actually view us as an overnight success. Uh, I'm so proud of this journey and so proud of the path we have taken by trying to do the right thing.